Welcome to another episode of Pixel Narratives with Anutosh. Today we have a wonderful guest with us. She is a dancer, a teacher, choreographer and event coordinator from Guwahati. She has been teaching dancers of different forms since the last 20 years. She teaches all dancers Bihu, classical form of Satriya, Bharatanatyam, and creative dances. She has worked as a dancer and choreographer in many Indian top events and also represented India at several platforms outside the country. And there is a list of uh, work that she has done. We have with us Mona Lisa Varua. Welcome to Pixel Narratives with Anushush. Thank you so much for inviting me. And uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, uh, I had started this uh, uh, podcast uh, keeping in mind that uh, we would uh, bring uh, people who have been doing wonderful work at the ground level and uh, then your name had come to me and I had been trying to contact you with this. I was just going through your uh, wonderful CV, a very impressive uh, CV that you have sent me. You have been participating in international event uh, in the Olympics. Yes. And uh, you have been to England yeah. for the England, I mean the London Olympics and also you had been there for the 100 years of the Titanic. Yes. Could you just tell me about that uh, what actually you have done there uh, okay, the, yeah. because Titanic was not a very happy kind of a thing it has gone down to, in the ocean and how do people celebrate that? Uh, actually in 2012, uh, 2012 uh, we went to London Olympic hmm. 
Uh, we were for uh, around 12 members together okay. with my guru, Sri Ranjit Kumar Gogoi. Okay. Uh, so we got an opportunity. Uh, so we went there for uh, on uh, 2012. In 2012, uh, we stayed for around 25 days, okay. something like that. Uh, then uh, there was a rally. First, uh, they have arranged a rally program, and then we uh, went to the uh, this one. Uh, I forgot the uh, South Hole. Okay. Uh, South Hole. So we performed there. Really, it's it's a very big experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm very lucky that uh, I I'm the part of that event. And and you have performed there, Bihu. Yes, we we performed okay. Bihu. Okay. Uh, around twelve members together. Okay. okay. So that 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 was a really big uh, exposure for Bihu also. Yes. Going out of India. Yes. 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 And uh, I could see that you are also uh, working with the CCRT. Yes. As a teacher trainer for cultural exchange programs. Yes. And uh, you are also a social activist. Yeah. Uh, let us go a little back. Okay. How did you first think that you would take up dance as your profession? Uh, uh, since my childhood, uh, at the age of three, I started dancing. Okay. And uh, at the age of five, my mom took me to the dance school. Okay. Uh, she gave me admission in Satriya dance. Uh -huh. uh, under my guru uh, Bhagavati uh, Ananda and Bhagavati, Ananda sir. Bhagavati sir. Okay. So he was he was my Satriya guru. Okay. Then uh, actually uh, I'm a child who loved dance so much that uh, I eat dance, I sleep dance. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Dance is my lifeline. Who actually first saw you dancing? Uh, my mom. Okay, my, and when you were two or three years yes, old. Yes, yes, my and my brother. He is the big uh, motivation for motivation, you. Motivation, yes. And uh, did your parents uh, tell you that uh, see, dance singing is okay, but then your studies are important for yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. But then you still continued dancing. Yes. And my, then one day you said that no, I want to be trained in dance. And what did your parents say? Actually, my parents are very supportive. Okay. Uh, my father, my mother, my entire family, my brother, and my aunties. My mother has six uh, sisters. Okay. And they all have brought me up. And uh, they are so encouraged. They give me so encouraged about dance. And uh, dance is like what? Uh, I, I cannot think beyond dance. Okay. So. <laughs> And just the way you said that you eat dance, you sleep yes, dance, yes, you think yes. about dance, it's okay. Uh, so, you know, uh, people say that, you know, uh, artists are born. Yes. Um, what do you think? Is it? Yes, it's very true. Artists are born? Yes. But then, uh, see, all children, they, have, they are born with all kind of mm -hmm. abilities, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. But then, uh, for some, the artistic sensibilities they develop more because they are encouraged by their parents right. first, then the family, mm -hmm. then the school, the society, and then we get a good artist. Yes. You know, everyone is born with all the sensibilities, yes. but then it is because of your parents that they have thought that, okay, let us, uh, you know, uh, give it a try and let, and that's why we have got a very good dancer here. Yes. And, uh, you have, are conducting a lot of workshops and uh, uh, for children. Yeah. And you have been trained in Satriya. Yes. But then you are teaching the modern dance. You are also teaching Bihu. You are also teaching the other dance forms and also the reality shows. Uh, what is the difference between the classical dance forms and the modern dance that we see? Actually, uh, there are lots of difference in modern and classical uh, because classical dance we have uh, a grammar. Okay. Modern dance there was a, also grammar. There was also grammar, but uh, the rhythm is different. Okay. There that, that is also a different form, different of, dance, form of dance. Different form of dance. Yeah. But uh, if you because you are trained in a classical yeah. form of dancing. Yes. That's why it becomes convenient for you to dance the other forms also. Yes, that, that's... that's so that right. means that if a child wants to uh, be an expert dancer, mm -hmm. 
there has to be some kind of learning of the classical art dance forms. It's, it's become very easy to learn other form of dance. Exactly. Yeah, uh, because we have a lot of dancers who we can find out that their background is from the classical, classical. either the Mohini or yeah. the Odissi or the Kathak or the Bharatanatyam and, mm -hmm. and now the Satriya dance. Okay. And uh, you have uh, in your college life, you were also an NCC. Yes. That's okay. Everyone is good. Uh, they join NCC. But you are a very good horse rider. Now that actually was, is a very interesting point. Uh, why uh, did you... Uh, you are a dancer and you also are a very good horse rider. Yeah. Actually... Uh, that is I, part of NCC. Yes. yes okay. This is a part of NCC. Actually, do I am a dancer. Mm. But parallelly, I was uh, connected with the uh, this one, sports religion. Okay. okay. Uh, first, uh, in my childhood, I have learned table tennis. Uh -huh. I have completed table yeah, tennis. Because your name is synonymous with our <laughs> Mona Lisa Borua. <laughs> yeah. And I know that's what uh, I was... Many of, uh, you know, people would be confusing with the name. Yes. Because we already have a star... Uh, table tennis player and she also also ventured yeah. for table tennis yeah. and they have this name uh, the very similar, similar names, names yeah. uh, with Mona Lisa Borova. Yeah. I have learned table tennis okay. uh, then karate oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. uh, then I uh, when I joined NCC at school uh, college sorry uh, so uh, um, my beloved teacher his name is Sashi Mohan sir so he told that uh, why don't you uh, start learning horse horse riding? Horse riding okay. So uh, I joined there for one or not one year I think one year. Mm -hmm. So after that it's it's a very uh, quite great experience for me yeah. to learn uh, horse riding. I you know I just uh, recollect. Mm -hmm. uh, you must have heard about our election commissioner T N session. Yes. I had attended uh, his uh, uh, one of his uh, talk in Guwahati only, and he was talking about his experience uh, becoming an IAS officer. Okay. So when he was selected to uh, as an IAS uh, trainee, he went for his training, and then one day they said that Chalo, you have to go for the horse riding, and then he said, I have come for an IAS officer, but why do I have to go for a horse riding? And then someone told him. See, if you can control a horse, you can control the entire system. And so, uh, yeah, so that, that, that actually is very uh, thing. But then uh, even uh, there is a lot of rhythm in horse riding and yes, dancing also. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. And you have been associated with a uh, lot of uh, Asian games, uh, the uh, South Asian Games ceremony mm -hmm. and then a yes. lot of other things. You, know, you have performance uh, and the international level also. Yes. You have been to Moscow twice. Yes. 2009 and then again 2011. 11. And then to Indonesia in 2010. And London Olympic, Wales and London again twice you have been to London and Ireland, Belfast mm -hmm. for the 100 years of Titanic disaster. Apart from that, you have been uh, performing at the national level. Uh, you have performed in the Asian Athletics Grand Prix yes. in uh, 2007 in Guwahati. Uh, performed in uh, Asian Car Rally. Yeah. That was in 2004, uh, which was in the Nehru Stadium, Guwahati. Yeah. And you have performed in the Sark Car Rally in yes. 2007. A lot of performances. And then you also were part of the Republic Day cere celebration, celebration in uh, 2005. Five. And you have been performing in different places in Goa, you have performed in Delhi and you were also associated with the Kelo India yes. for the disabilities yes. in Gujarat into 2018. And you have worked with Saroj Khan Academy. Now please tell about Saroj Khan. Uh, uh, that one also a very memorable uh, mm. journey. Mm. Uh, in Guwahati, there was a center of Saroj Khan Academy. Okay. So, once I thought that why should not I uh, start learning from this mm -hmm. class because uh, I heard that Saroj ma'am has used to come there okay. uh, to teach. Okay. So, I joined the classes mm -hmm. and unfortunately, um, I am lucky 
that in the last part of her journey mm. uh, is uh, i have done a show in front of her okay that was a great experience as a dancer mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, i've learned many many dance from from her mm -hmm. And Those are all modern. Yes, modern film. Uh, film Bollywood style. Bollywood because uh, Saroj Khan also has her own uh, style. Style. Uh, you yeah. know, which is uh, I mean, most of the dance directors they have their uh, uh, independent style. Yes. Uh, Remo Fernandez has yes. a different style. Saroj Khan has a different style, and the you know Birju Maharaj has a yes. different style, and uh, the, even the dancers are different, and they perform in a different way. Films are made. On cl classical, classical days, and also we have in the modern thing, we also have disco dances. Yes. You know, know, so, so which dance dance form other than the bihu you like the most? Um, I like most uh, all the type, all the types, all the style. But uh, mainly, I love to dance classical. Okay. Uh, because classical is a dance form uh, which give me. Uh, more, 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 more. Uh, uh, what to say? Freedom. Freedom, yes. Yeah. Because I feel very comfort with classical dance, mm -hmm. and actually, people know me uh, that I I am only in folk dance. Okay. Many people doesn't know that I I am a classical dancer also. Uh, okay. So uh, as I told you before, that I learned satriya dance from my guru Anandaman Bhagwati sir. After that, I started my Bharatnatyam dance class. Under my guru Manisha Bhuya, mm -hmm. uh, she was uh, Manisha ma'am is one of my uh, line the dance line from which I started my dance career. She is one one main character in my life. Okay. Because she is a great inspiration. Inspiration for you. because okay, okay. Uh, when I started learning Bharatanatyam, she is the one who taught me how to step the dance. With the expressions, mm -hmm. how to um, uh, uh, what to say? Uh, if you perform in some um, stage or whatever, uh, how to represent okay. yourself? So she is the main ex uh, inspiration for me. Until yet, she was with me whenever I I feel like uh, uh, something having problem in my life. I I, I share with her everything. Okay. She is my like second mother. Oh. And after that, I started learning uh, uh, folk dance. Means bihu is uh, in born. Bihu okay. is in in born. And uh, while doing bihu, you have also got that Guinness Book record yes. with you. Yes. So just share about this because most of our uh, viewers may not be knowing much about this because yes. uh, as we are doing it in English, yes. it will be uh, uh -huh. going beyond the sound. So just share about uh, the Guinness Book of Record uh, bihu. Yes. Yeah, I have to mention this yes. because uh, as I am here now, it's only because of my guru, Ranjit Kumar Gogoi, sir. Okay. And he is one who have uh, taken me to this level. Mm -hmm. And for him, I I went many countries, many all over India, and all those program I have done only with him on. Okay. I have done only with him, and uh, yes, wall record is the great experience, and it's a great achievement. How many dancers were there? There was eleven thousand. Okay. Uh, the total. The entire stadium was yes filled up. Yes, it's okay. filled up, and the journey of Guinness Book of World Record is very uh, tough. First half it's very tough for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. because it's not so easy to gather all the uh, mm. coordination, coordination and then choreography yes. and that to uh, rhythm, rhythm and then the thing. Yes, yes. And you have some kind of a timing that this much time you have to yeah. dance and yeah. things like that. We have seen it on the, um, uh, the telecast live and it was really a wonderful thing and it's a record for the people of Assam. Yes. And uh, Bihu is uh, a, a dance form that we always see around and it is performed in schools, it's performed in the during the Bihu and uh, there are different types of uh, Bihu. Bihu, I mean not only the uh, one that we see mm -hmm. 
and uh, we have a lot of different different tribes and they have their own way oh, of yes. celebrating bihu and you have been the, you know conducting workshop yes. for the bodo for the yes. tiwa yes. the karbi uh, missing yes. hajong yes. so how do they differ do they really differ with the kind of uh, the bihu that we see we in this kind of an attire and the hajong or the bodo yes uh, all uh, types are different mm. their costumes are different mm -hmm. Their dance forms are different, hmm. but uh, uh, all together, together it's called a uh, Assam. Okay. The, yes. For, yes. 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 Uh, Boro, Rabha, Missing, Tiwa, everything is uh, together. Then it's called Assam. Uh -huh. So there are different type of dresses, different type of costumes, uh, uh, music, instruments okay. are different. Okay. So it's diff it's quite different. Entirely different. Yeah. So Bihu celebrated by the uh, other tribes and the Bihu that we see. Uh, we are uh, all, uh, you know, popularly, uh, and they have a lot of differences. Lots of differences. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what is uh, similarity when you have all these dance forms? I'm not talking of the mm -hmm. classical Bharatanatyam yeah. and uh, thing. I'm talking only about Assam, mm -hmm. the different dance form of you know the different tribes, mm -hmm. and uh, is there any kind of a similarity? Yes, there are similarity because. Uh, as, uh, no, the Bihu, dress is different, yes, the choreography is different, different. the uh -huh. music is different, the beats are different. Beats are different. But is there yes. some similarity? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, because uh, as Bihu is a uh, festival of harvesting mm -hmm. festival, mm -hmm. so each, uh, all the tribes, they are also included in harvesting. Right. So they are, uh, that, that is the similarity. Okay. So, so it is all seasonal? Seasonal. Uh, because uh, often... Uh, Bihu in the month of April yeah. and May, May. Mm. it gives you a different kind different. of a feeling. Mm. But uh, Bihu is now staged in schools in different different uh, mm. time. Uh, but uh, it doesn't give you that kind of an impact. Do yes. you feel that? Yes, yes. Because yes, yes. Bihu in, uh, in the month of uh, April, May is a different kind different, of a feeling. Different, yeah. And uh, mm, that same Bihu danced which does not happen with the other dance forms. Yes. It doesn't happen with the Kathak. Kathak, Kathak can be danced all, uh, all three. The uh, the Varadhanatam can be danced anytime. The Kathakali, all the other dance forms. But the, but the month of April. It is only Bihu yeah. that uh, gives you that kind of, uh, a kind of feeling. Feelings. Uh, not only uh, that, that feeling of the season, the feeling of, uh, uh, you know, that New Year. Yeah. All this, it's only Bihu. That has to be danced in the month of April. April, yes. And that gives you the most, uh, you know, vibrant, vibrant. and you know uh, thing. So uh, I was thinking that, uh, yeah, it's only a professional dancer could give this uh, uh, kind of a thing. And uh, you are conducting a lot of workshops. Yes. What do you feel when you conduct a workshop with uh, children? And. Uh, what kind of a response you get from the children of this uh, at present when you teach them something classical? Uh, while teaching classical dance, uh, the uh, children are like uh, some children feel very bored. First, okay. first half, uh -huh. they feel very bored because classical is a dance where we first have to uh, learn the basic steps, okay, right. and that take little bit time. Uh -huh. to learn. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. But if they learn folk dance, they feel very happy. Mm -hmm. Because folk dance, uh, though it's a bit tough, uh -huh. but the, for the region, yes. uh, they, they started loving to learn quickly. Mm -hmm. But in Vandaitim or Satriya, uh, the dance form is a little bit hard. So they, they take a little bit time to learn, mm -hmm. so they get a little bored. Uh you have been a dance teacher for more than 20 years now. Yes. And uh, you have a long time to go. Is there any uh, regret till now that you could not do it? Yes. What is it? Uh, there is one regret that at my time, when I uh, started my dance journey, that time there was uh, not uh, so many events has done for
for competition. Okay. Uh, only the functions are going on, but mm. no competition. Not mm. so much nowadays. Everywhere, every day, we have an event event where only competition has done. But is it good or it is not? Good? Is it good? It's good. It is good. Competition. Good. Yeah, competition is good huh. because uh, that makes the dancer to get more connected with dance. If uh, the dance lover, huh. I'm telling as a dance lover, huh. they can learn more. Okay. Okay. But I didn't got that chance. Oh, you will get <laughs> I didn't got that there chance. There is a lot of opportunity. Uh, uh, you did not get it. That's a... Uh, yeah, yeah. You regret that. But yeah. then your students are getting it. Yes. So that's, that's a that's big me, achievement. Uh, that makes me proud. Uh, yes. Uh, so that that uh, gives you... Uh, and is there any uh, moment that you have really thought that you have done the good decision learning dancing uh, yes yeah, other than other than all your achievements going to abroad and the olympics mm -hmm. representing assam and representing india uh, those are apart those are your achievements you have done it already but is there something that you have really achieved and that is uh, you you have really enjoyed doing that mm -hmm. and that gives you a lot of you know a remembrance for all your uh, every time you remember that and you say oh what a what a good thing Everybody. yes yes there are many many <laughs> yeah but anyone uh, yeah actually uh, as i told you that i i eat dance i sleep dance okay uh, at my childhood i thought that if sometime uh, i got a chance to a dance in a high level stage uh -huh. high level performance you are already doing that yes that before, uh -huh. uh, as I have not done at that time, uh -huh. that I every time I used to think, if I can do this, if I can go out uh, abroad, mm -hmm. if I get the chance to do this dance in this platform, mm -hmm. if I met the choreographer, okay. the renowned choreographer, that was my dream. Mm -hmm. And yes, the first dream come through when I met Saros Kanji, okay. must then, uh, and the. Second, my dream come true when my guru, Sri Ranjit Kumar Gogoi, has given me the opportunity and the platform to uh, perform at the national level and international level, both. And he was the one who have uh, choose me uh, for this platform. Mm -hmm. And I was feeling, at that time, I was like, uh, oh, this is my dream, which really come true. Okay. And that's a very happy moment, and I never forget. How many? How much time do you dance every day? Before I was <laughs> uh, all the day. It's uh, uh, hardly uh, last few years. I used to dance continuously, but okay. last from uh, this one COVID, I got a sleep breaks, and I had to take rest for six months. Okay. And Even I'm, after that, you are still dancing. Uh, but Even still, after yeah. that, you are still I'm, doing I'm the still dancing, but that, it's a less time. That's a lot of, uh, lot of, lot of, uh, you know, uh, energy and uh, you know, uh, self motivation that yes, you have, yes, yes. and that's a, that's a really, uh, you know, you, it's a very impressive kind of a work that you have been I'm, doing. Now I'm very happy because my patient become my job. Okay. So, mm. as I am working as a teacher, uh, I am working as an activity teacher at downtown school. Okay. So, uh, that feel me very happy that uh, my dance is becoming now a job. Good. So, that, that, that's a wonderful thing. And uh, since you are associated with one of the schools, there will be a lot of other children yes. uh, who will be, you know, encouraged yes. uh, to take up the kind of dance that you mm -hmm. have been doing. And you have been doing it very passionately and uh, you have mastered not only the Bihu or the Satriya, all the other dance forms. And uh, that, that's a really uh, thing. Uh, any one instrument that you would play that we use for Bihu? Yes, uh, I can play Gogona. <laughs> Please tell us about this, what it is actually, how is it made and... What is yes, uh, this is known as gogona. Okay. Okay. A uh, gogona have two types. 
uh, one is Lahori Gogona and one is Ramdhan Gogona. This is which one? This one is Ramdhan. Okay. Nowadays, Lahori Gogona you cannot find so easily uh -huh. uh, because that one is uh, very thin and it's uh, the uh, here in the middle part we used to uh, keep a muga silk. Okay. Uh, with that one only it mm -hmm. can be true. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, generally nowadays we use Ramdhan Gogona only. Okay. So it's made of bamboo. Okay. It's so it's, it is locally yes. made. It's ma uh, uh -huh. locally made. It's a, uh, made of bamboo, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's sound is, sound is like uh, very smooth, very smooth, and uh, just uh, just yeah. play it. Uh -huh. It's wonderful. I mean, it's, it's amazing. You know, it's a bamboo a stick, and then with that vibration. It's giving you that, uh, you know, it's, it's a wonderful sound. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is locally made. Yes, this is locally made. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to, uh, how you will play, you have to keep your fingers in mm -hmm. here. Okay. And with this thumb, you have to do like this. Uh -huh. So it has been, uh, you know, uh, very scientifically, scientifically made actually. Made, yes. Okay, yes. Okay. It's a very important part of uh, Bihu. Bihu, yes. yes. And, and this is the one which is... Rarely viewed from the, uh, you know, down when people see them on stage or even uh, at a distance. It's so small thing. Thanks. And, uh, you know, but the sound is vibrating. It's vibrating. a wonderful yeah. sound. Uh, and uh, so, you know. That was a wonderful uh, instrument that we, uh, it's a very local uh, instrument that uh, the, you know, Bihu, uh, the entire troupe, people mm. play it and it is, uh, we uh, don't see this small instrument from a very long, uh, you know, distant and this is one of the most intricate part of the Bihu. Uh, I am sure uh, that uh, the people who have been viewing this channel, uh, they have must be knowing about the different uh, dance forms of Assam and uh, Bihu, uh, especially how Bihu has now become a international. Uh, you know, it's a record. Um, uh, it has got the Guinness Book of uh, World Record uh, and. Where le more than 11,000 people have now. Yes, more than 11,000. More 000. than 11,000. And uh, uh, it was in Guwahati. And uh, now it's a world record. And um, one more uh, m uh, thing that is coming to my mind that I would like what are your future plans? What do you want to do? Yeah, my well, you are already in a school, you are yes. teaching the children. That's, that's fine. Yeah. But uh, other than that, what do you want to do? <laughs> Other than that, uh, uh, my mind is like a business mind. Okay. <laughs> I want to do some business. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, because as my background is from business, because mm. my brother is uh, doing business, my father also has, uh, when he was there, then he also used to do business. So, something like, uh, which is related to dance only. Uh, business related to, to dance. dance yeah. So what, what, what do you it's think? It's like uh, when we used to do some programs, uh, we always uh, very much wanted about the costumes. So I want to make a platform where every type of costumes you can find. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have started costumes only of all the all dance, forms. dance forms. Oh really? That was, Ornaments, that costumes. Uh -huh. Everything, right. the props, uh -huh. uh, where in my shop there will be available, every okay. kind of 
Means so it will it will be something like a boutique, boutique where you yes. have all the yes. uh, dress. So people don't have to search. Uh. And uh, look for one more, uh, you know, most of the schools uh, when we conduct uh, um, uh, annual day or programs like yeah. that, uh, it is the costumes that actually bothers. Them. Bothers. Uh, you yeah. know, people uh -huh. have to uh -huh. go and search. Uh -huh. Either they have to buy. buy Buying it. is a big uh, yeah. thing. Uh, so I think this is a very good, uh, you know, you can start this initiative with. Means uh, there you can find everything uh, mm -hmm. from ornaments to costume, uh, from the, the instruments, music, everything, the, yeah, everything. That would be a really very it's good. It's like a uh, dance supermarket. Oh wow! <laughs> so uh, let's hope that very soon you will be coming up with this kind of a wonderful setup. And since you are a practicing artist, you are a dancer, so you would be knowing which materials are really useful and which are genuine materials and the materials that uh, uh, people would be looking at different other places mm -hmm. so they will come to you well, that's a very good thing but then you as a dancer you will be also being involved with you know uh, bringing the genuine things in the marketplace uh, so, so wish you all the best Thank and uh, it was really wonderful talking to Manolisa Burua our guest for Pixel Narratives with Anutosh in our next episode, we will be again talking to some other person who has achieved and will be sharing his life experiences. Till then, goodbye.